Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jess from Potty Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the week ahead for October 28th, 2019. There is a lot going on in the cosmos. There's a lot going on around us in our energy fields and we're going to dive into it using astrology, using tarot, using oracle, and a lot of this is going to be coming through my intuition through my notes. Okay? So for those of you guys who are brand new to the YouTube channel, I want to welcome you and I want to invite you to subscribe because I post videos every week, sometimes multiple times a week for things that will help to guide you. And for everyone else, thank you so much for being a part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe because we are so strong together. Let's talk about what I'm seeing within the astrology chart. The first thing is the fact that there are so many of our personal planets crowded in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign that is connected to power, control, manipulation, and diving deep, 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 deep into the meat, the root of things to, to really understand who we are, why we do the things that we do. And we want to take that information and get more quality experiences and intimate connections within ourselves, within uh, with the divine, and also with the outside world. I'm seeing this almost skeletons in the closet or things that you thought that you might have taken care of, but for some reason they're plaguing you or you feel a sense of, you know, why am I still drawn to this? Why is this still here? Well, that's because Venus, the planet that rules our values and things that we're like pulled to, that we're attracted to, is moving through Scorpio as well. It's not just Mercury. It's not just the sun. It's not just the moon. It's not just the new moon. It's Venus here, and they are all coming into a nice trine with Chiron. Chiron is in the sign of Aries. Chiron is the wounded healer, and pretty much what this is is not only are you uncovering and unmasking these truths and unmasking these desires and unmasking experiences within your life that are going to make it more deeper and more profound, but you're doing this because it's for you. It's, you're doing this because it's, the universe is guiding you now to take yourself seriously and to put yourself first. That's always what is happening here, especially with the with the North Node falling in the side of Cancer. This is something that we're all under the influence of right now. The North Node is where it is that we're destined to go. It's not meant to be easy. I can't tell you how many clients I've had within the last two weeks that say, but Jess, it's so hard. Literally no one told you that it was going to be easy. And saying that it's hard, saying so hard, I, I, it's, I don't know if I can do it or I, I feel like I have to do it, but, but, but. No, you have to know your worth. You have to know your value. Chiron in the sign of Aries, Aries is a sign of I am. This is putting yourself first. You're the first one to take that leap of faith. It doesn't matter if you're a Virgo or a Gemini or a Libra or whoever, and you're waiting for the other, you're waiting for the opposite. It doesn't matter. At some point within your life, you have to take that first step, that first leap of faith. It doesn't matter how hard it is. Of course, it's going to be hard. A lot of things that are, are hard are usually worth it. It really will test your faith. But as you are uncovering these truths and as everything is quiet and you're watching through this silence, through this quiet, okay, this is what I truly value. This is what I want for myself. You are being pushed into a space where you are so uncomfortable, where you have to examine it and you can't pretend like you don't see it and feel it any longer. You know what to do. And for so many of you guys, you don't realize it, but you have been exchanging your power and giving it to other people and giving it to other things and saying, well, you know, take control, take the realm, take over. Are they capable of doing it? Absolutely. But are you capable of doing it? Yes. And if you're not, you're going to be because you're going to learn because the divine and angels and your guides are teaching you to take, to step into your power 1000%. When I say to you guys, and that when I said to you, oh, it's hard, it, it's hard, I'm uncomfortable, I bet. Looking at the chart now, Mars ruling our driver and our ambition is in the sign of Libra. Mars hates being in the sign of Libra. He's not comfortable in the sign of Libra. Libra is really straddling the fence and says, please, I want someone to do this with me. Libra says, do I do this? Do I go here? Do I do that? It's this back and forth motion. So this normally isn't so much of a bad thing because you can use it for, for a strength where you can weigh out a lot, a lot of pros and cons. You're working to create harmony. But some things you should not be harmonizing with. Some things you should not be compromising with. Some things don't need you to be connected with them anymore. You don't need to partner with them anymore. They don't even, why is there smoke coming from over there? Oh, it's my incense. I was like, why is my plant on fire? <laughs> 
but again it's you you really truly are burning you know cutting these cords because the your guides and your angels are telling you stop trying to align with people that you you don't need to be with you need to break free from or this mindset this addiction this lifestyle this laziness one of my friends recently I was talking to him and he was saying, you know, I, I just, I'm, I'm going to do the work, but I also want to be lucky. Like I'm waiting for my luck to change. Well, sometimes waiting for your luck to change is one of the laziest things that you can do because you're, if you're waiting to be lucky when it comes to starting this thing, you're waiting to get struck by lightning. And that is so dangerous. That sounds so dangerous. You have so much to lose. You have so much to lose. If you don't, you don't want to wait for lightning to strike you. You want to be the lightning bolt. You want to strike. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's a lot, there's a lot of power. This is not the first time that I even felt called to use lightning and fire and volcanoes as a metaphor for what's going on in your life right now, because that's how powerful this is, this surge of energy. Some of you guys don't see it right away in your life around you, but you do feel it. The reason why you don't fe um, see the, the actual evidence of it is because this is a new moon. A lot of times when we're working with new moon energy, so much is under the radar, it's below the surface, it's kind of like tremors that's been building up. But it, even though you can't see it, you don't see the physical evidence of it, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It's definitely there. Mars squaring off with Saturn. Saturn is very rigid, it's very stubborn, it's set in its ways, it's set in its ways for a good reason. It's because it's learned over time through its experiences. These experiences have, have kind of hardened him and made him feel like, okay, this is the only way that I can do it, this is the only way that it can get done. The reality is, is that for many of you guys, you're gonna have to deviate from the norm. You're gonna have to deviate from these expectations, you're gonna have to deviate from your comfort zones, from where you thought you belonged when you realize, I am not safe here, this is not for me, this is not where I need to rest and drop my anchor. Especially now that Saturn is going direct, so much of Saturn is saying, listen, when I was retrograde, I was showing you what needed to be broken down. And if you didn't want to step into that, I was going to break it down for you. You didn't have a choice. Now that Saturn is direct at the time of me filming this, he's, he's showing you, listen, you know what? You've got to, I'm going to bulldoze and this is the way to do it. Follow me, follow my lead. And I'm going to show you the way to, to, to go. And I'm going to be stubborn in this. And you need to be mature. You need to be an adult about this. No one said that it was going to be easy. They just said that it was going to be worth it. Oh, so that's a lot. Meanwhile, um, Saturn and Mercury here are squaring off. So again, Mercury is sitting on the fence in the sign of Libra, which is normally not a bad thing, and I'm not saying that it is a bad thing, but it's creating this energy in a lot of you guys where you're like, okay, I just don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You're just scared to do it. You're, you're afraid to take that step, or you want someone else to do it for you, or you don't want to... Um, take ownership in a lot of ways. So there's a strong power struggle that's going going on within the chart. You have to make up your mind. You have to know what you want. You have to take that first step. That is going to be the key to, to your own personal healing is that there is an area within your life that you need to step into your full power and pull in your strength. Again, this is not something that's going to be easy and effortless. This is It's going to be heavy. But when you see it and when you get used to it and accustomed to it, that same burden is going to be your motivation. That same thing that used to defeat you is now going to be the energy that fuels you. That fire, that volcano, that bolt of lightning, that same thing that you're waiting you know, to, to change your luck, you are changing your luck every day. Not only through your intention, but through your willpower, through your words, through your boundaries. The boundaries that you have created for yourself because of the lessons that you've learned from the planets um, having having recently been retrograde. Now, when Mercury goes retrograde on 31st, you're gonna be tested, of course. There's some of you guys that are gonna be tested. I think, I wanna say 82% is the, is the number that's coming through to me intuitively. 82% of my viewers now are gonna be tested in the way that your boundaries, some things from your past, some old habits, some old lifestyles, some old things are gonna come up. And you're going to be called to be like, okay, do I say yes to this or do I say no to this? That's fine. But more than that, that same percent, 82% that's tested is also going to have opportunities come through. Things from the past or things that you've learned, that you've tweaked, that you've reevaluated and that you're reevaluating. And now because they're showing up again, you're going to, you're going to choose to do it, but you're going to do it better than you've ever done it before. That's the blessing of Mercury retrograde. Mark my words.
Okay, the other thing that I'm seeing too is the sun. The sun represents our ego, our energy. For those of you guys that hear me when I say the word ego and you get offended, calm down. When I say ego, I'm not saying that you are egocentric or that you're bossy or... When I say ego, it's our, our understanding of ourselves, our personal identity. And these are things that are being tested right now, especially with Uranus retrograde. We're not talking about that enough on the internet, right? But there's not enough time. I could just be making, churning out videos all the time, <laughs> all the time. But I have custom orders to do and I have readings to do and I have videos to make and this is just a part of the work that I do. Uranus retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Again, this is another thing that's kind of breaking down your barriers, breaking down your comfort zones. Um, and, and has been not only in your personal life, but in our government, with the environment, with politics, with business. Um, a few things that have been coming through to me lately is uh, Victoria's Secret, Forever 21, and who else was it? I can't remember. These businesses keep popping up in my head and I'm like, I feel like they're going to uh, collapse. Or So just warning to those companies, those organizations, I just feel like they're going to start tumbling. Especially Victoria's Secret, watch them, you guys, watch them. I wouldn't be surprised in the next coming months if they make an announcement. That's just something that came through. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the tarot cards that I pulled. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. I'm working with a zombie tarot, which is one of my favorite card decks to work with currently. Oh my gosh, I'm here for it. Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups reversed, the High Priestess reversed, and also the Ace of Cups. When I'm working, when I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles, I feel, and I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, and the High Priestess, and the Ace of Cups, and so pretty much all of these cards, I, this is one of those things that it is just so important for you to see how, even, the word is slight. I don't know why intuitively that's coming through, but it's even the slight affirmation, or, um, the slight um, decisions, like not decisions, but the things that you call out, the things that you say, which makes a lot of sense because it came to me while I was sitting at my altar last night and I was channeling messages for myself, but also for the collective. It's like someone who, as intuitive beings, I'll say this, as intuitive beings, we know that when we say yes, our bodies have like um, responds. When we say yes to something, yes is a strong word. Yes holds power. So does no. When we say no, a lot of people are afraid to say no because we know how much power saying no holds. And what is the punishment if we put out the word no? And yes means that we are wholeheartedly agreeing. But to say a full strong yes to that is not something that our spirit is um, can agree with. So a lot of us just say, okay, so okay is it seems harmless but okay the word okay has a lot of power a lot of power behind it but in reverse cuz it takes away your personal power because so many of us are resting on the word okay or and the the word okay could just be a metaphor for whatever it's like this in between of it's either yes cuz i know i shouldn't be saying yes to this but i am afraid to say no so i'm just going to say okay and it's going to allow me to be submissive and to roll over on my back and to give whatever this thing is, whoever I'm saying okay to, the power to pull me in the direction that they want me to go to. And that's what I'm seeing when I'm looking at these cards. Forgive me for being such a Virgo right now and for dragging people and even dragging myself. But as a queen of pentacles, her foot is anchored to the chair. The chair represents her stability and that's what I'm seeing as I'm looking at this card and it changes every time I look at it. But I'm also seeing the strength card here with the bullet inside of the head within this card deck or at least the bullet on top of the head. But the strength card is reversed. And what I'm seeing is you know your power. You know what you don't want to say yes to. You know what you should say no to but you're afraid. or you just, So you just kind of are straddling. Mars in the sign of Libra, you're kind of straddling the in-between and you're sitting on the okay and you're settling for mediocre. You're settling for just okay. You're settling, settling for just okay life. The Queen of Pentacles 
was never destined to have an okay life. She was actually destined to have um, an, a life of, of abundance, of luxury, of stability. She knows her worth. She knows her value. She takes care of herself. She takes care of her health. She is provided for so that she's able to do that. But if you are straddling the okay and you are afraid to follow your heart, if you're afraid to step into your power, if you're afraid to call the shots, you will sit in a space of the in-between and life will never progress. And so many of us are afraid of our own destiny. We're afraid of our own success. We're afraid of our own personal power. Well, we're in Scorpio season, honey, and we don't have time for that anymore. There are relationships that you need to experience. There are families that you need to create. There are places that you need to travel to. There's abundance and wealth that you need to secure for yourself. There are blessings that you need to, to receive so that you can be a blessing to other people. There's subjects that you need to study. There's gifts that you need to perfect because you're, you're gonna be an elder, you're gonna be a leader. You're going to show people how it needs to be done. You have to put yourself out there. Is it easy? No. It's going to be hard, but it doesn't matter. You have to Chiron and Aries. You have to step up. You have to be a leader for yourself and you know lead the way into your destiny, lead the way into your future. But that means that you have to Eight of Cups reverse off of that straddling defense, that Mars, Mars and Libra energy. This is something intuitively you know this because the High Priestess reverse is here. But more than that, it's more than intuition. It's a fear of looking at the darker side. It's a fear of you actually seeing it and acknowledging your shadow sides. Half of you guys are like, well, Jess, I've done the work. I know my shadow sides. The thing is, is that you don't. Like, you're, we're constantly evolving. We're constantly, just always, you can always dig and discover more. We're always a work in progress. We're always progressing. We're always evolving. And shadow does not mean the past. Shadow is the sides of you that are quiet, that are dormant. Mercury retrograde sitting in the sign of, or mer before Mercury goes retrograde sitting in the sign of Scorpio. All of these things, these shadow sides within yourself, these things that are taking your power, these lessons, these um, things that you've been holding on to and your spirit's been holding on to, this mindset, all of these things are the shadow side. And that's something that's like, well, I'm scared to look at it. I'm scared to examine it. I thought I already did it. This is going to show me that I failed. You haven't failed. You're, it's, an endless, it's an endless art. That's what you are. You're an endless moving work of art that's constantly evolving and, and growing and, and, and shape-shifting. That's who you are. That's the, the essence of your, your core. Like That's the essence of your being. That's where you're going to pull your power from. So that's nothing to be afraid of. That's something to work with. The next card that I'm looking at is <laughs> six, of, six of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Nine of Swords reversed. I'm seeing that for so many of you guys, you're, you're going to link up with the right people, but I also see that you're going to be way more um, mindful and aware of who you, can, who you can count on, who you can call on, how you, can, how you should and could give to them in the ways that also, the ways that you need to stop giving to them, you have to kind of look at, while you're straddling this Mars and, and Libra, use this energy for the benefit by saying, okay, how do I want to juggle this? How much of myself do I want to give to them? How much do I need? What do I want to receive? So that could be where this back and forth motion is going. But for the most part, I'm seeing anything that's creating anxiety, tension, chaos, discord, that you know and you feel internally, it's time for you to take this strength card reverse and flip it upright and say, you know, put the bullets in the, in the gun, not literally, this is a metaphor, but control your weapon and say, I'm gonna use this for my protection. I'm going to know my worth and my value and I'm not gonna be removed from my, from my throne. The Queen of Pentacles is actually um, anchored to her throne. She's like, this is where I belong. I don't need to be taken from this because this is where I belong. Some of you guys aren't on your throne yet. You're getting there, but your name and your name is carved in it in gold and diamonds and sapphires and rubies. And you guys are headed there. And that's what where Saturn is pulling you towards. And that's why you're like, okay, it's hard. It's difficult. I bet. But it's yours. It's your destiny. So do what you have to do in order to get to your throne because you're a king, you're a queen. 
and you need to get back into your space of power, calling the shots again. But you can't do that, again, if you're straddling the fence of, okay, okay, I, I will say yes to this. I will co-sign on this. You know better than that. Doing that, you have this sun card here that's shining a lot of light on your shadow sides so that you can see it a little better. But when you see it, take ownership, take leadership and say, no, 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 or yes, or I need this. This is what I, I need to receive right now in order to do this. All of this is a king and a queen owning their power, using their words, being assertive, Chiron and Aries, and putting the attention back on you again, putting the attention back on me. I am, I am. The next cards that I'm seeing, let me go ahead and move my Oracle decks, but we'll talk about those, are, oh, the hanged man. Yep, see, Mars and Libra. Four of hazards. Mars and Libra. Four of Hazards is um, Four of Pentacles for those of you guys that don't have the zombie tarot. Six of Swords. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's this energy of, I'm going to stay right here <laughs> in status quo. For some of you guys, you, and you know it, you know it because you have been doing a lot of the work, um, you know where you belong. Um, North Node in Cancer has a lot of us being very introverted. If you are a normal introvert, it's even harder for you lately for a minute to leave the house and to engage in the chaos of the external world, the outside world. You are just so sensitive. The introverts are more introverted than ever before. And for those of you guys that are extroverts, you are finding that you actually have more introverted tendencies. And this is because you are really, same thing as the introverts, you're just feeling like the outside world and all this energy that you're sensitive to right now, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in. And while you're internally, I'm surprised that I'm not seeing the hermit card here, but I'm sure spirit is giving us all a break from seeing the hermit card because we've been seeing it so much. But it's this um, internal seeking, this internal questioning. You know, what, what, what do I want? What do I need? Where am I going? What is the truth for me? I'm, I'm trying to shine a light on this. I want to shine a light on this. Where do I belong? And for some of you guys, you really are in this space where you are learning your power and gaining more strength back by these introverted tendencies or disconnecting from the external or the chaos or the noise, whatever that noise sounds like. As I'm saying family and cancer and where you belong, some of you guys are from family units and have a strong family unit and you love that family, but also boundaries because sometimes that family is too loud or it's toxic or you just don't relate to them in that way so you have to kind of strike out and do your own thing and that's where you're kind of having this like imbalance of okay how do I be there for them and also there for myself but you know everyone's finding their own recipe their own thing that works for them very temperance vibes again these readings are very general and if unless I'm doing a one-on-one a -on -one reading with you it, I, I'm not going to dive in any deeper than that because it would my message to one person is going to take is going to work against the message for other people so I just am not going to do that but again, it's like some of you guys really are in this space right now where you, before you make a move, before, Venus, before Mercury goes retrograde on the 31st, you really are in this space of, wait, let me take a deep breath. Let me connect with myself. Let me disconnect so that I can reconnect, so that I can know with clear, with clear mind, without a fraction of a doubt, that this is what I want. And this is a part of you really calling your power and you getting to the throne and you securing your throne, securing your legacy, securing your stability, your security. For others, it really is like, la, 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 I can't hear you, I don't see, I don't know. And, you know, this is something else too where the universe is like, you know what to do. You know what to do. Don't hide from the things that you think are hard. Don't hide from the difficult past because they're there for a very good reason. Now, let me look at the Oracle cards that we have pulled here. We have claim your boundaries. Claim your boundaries means to actually know what those boundaries are and then to know them 
you cannot use the excuse anymore and say, well, I didn't know. You did know. You just decided not to. The, your ability to make a, a choice and a decision is a part of your personal power. It's where you're going to get your strength from. So knowing is the first step. And I feel like you do know. And if you don't know, then hanged man, four of, four of pentacles, and high priestess, upright, queen of pentacles, upright. The next card is let go. I feel like I said a lot on that, so I'm just going to let that one go. Because you know. <laughs> Call on your angels. Again, this is for those of you guys that really do need support. And don't feel bad. Me too. I call on my angels all the time. Before I make a video, I'm calling on my angels to work with me by my side so that when I'm getting my messages or when I'm putting my messages out that I have the help to articulate myself and to channel. And I also ask for their protection. I always call on my angels because it's not easy. It's not easy. No one's path is easy. Because we all have our, our struggles. We all have our, our internal conflicts or external conflicts. So don't do it by yourself. Call on your angels to help you. We know that it's not going to be easy. We know that, yeah, but just it's hard. I bet. Call on your angels. See, Isis, past life. The situation involves your past life memories. These are things that you've already experienced. Do you see how Isis is holding on to, well, you can't see because the camera's so far away, but trust me, she's holding on to the Ankh. The Ankh is a symbol of life. And it's the connection of masculine and feminine, of dark and light. These things coming together in order to create, in order to breathe life into you. And she's holding on to them so tightly. So these are memories that you've been holding on to. These are experiences that have given life to you, but also have taken, that have died, that have been released. And these are all part of your memories, whether in this life or the ones from past lives, but either way I'm seeing it, it's a memory, you've recalled it. So as you're going through this, the, your head right there, thinking these questions and hearing those words and revisit, re, re, revisiting these visions, these thoughts, call on your angels to help you and call on them to help you as you're letting go. Call on, call on them to give you um, power with you know owning your boundaries and claiming your boundaries as these things start coming in because that's going to help to give you life while you're transforming. So this is the card of transformation. The butterfly made in transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now with great which brings bl great blessings. I believe it. As I'm looking at this card, there's a lot of um, orange in the corner and I'm seeing this as the sun. I'm seeing this as a sun card. This is the ego, your sense of self, your vitality, your strength, your life coming back to you. That's what's being transformed. Yes, there's darkness here, but I don't see so much of that. There's a balance, of course, but I'm seeing we've spent a lot of time in the dark and we're not out of it completely, but I'm seeing us focusing on the light, what gives us life, what gives us vitality. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism, but that brings me back to what's going on in the chart. Uranus sitting in Taurus, Taurus is ruled by Venus and Earth. And this shows me that when we have Uranus here, things are being erupting. Things are erupting. Things are being shook up. Our foundation, our earth, our solid ground is switching up. It's changing. And that is terrifying because it's like the ground that you've been standing on, it might be breaking up. This is the things that you've known it, the ways that you've known it, who you've known yourself to be, your relationship, your career, your root chakra. These are things that are being um, uprooted right now. And this is all for your sense of identity. When I'm looking at the sun sitting in the sign of Scorpio, sun wants you to know the ins and outs, the root of who you are to your core intimately without a question of a doubt so that you can know who you are so you can know your value and you cannot settle for less because you know it. You can't say, oh, I didn't know. You did know. And with sun sitting directly opposite Uranus, Uranus um, sitting in the sign of Taurus, Uranus disrupts all of the status quo that does not serve us. It doesn't see right now, it sees light years ahead. It sees where you're going that you can't even see right now. You wouldn't even be able to imagine how wild life is gonna be for you in such an abundant, beautiful, blessed way because that's how advanced Uranus is. And it's just shooting things into, you know, this is going to hold her back. This is going to hold him back. This is going to take away her power. This is what's gonna steal him and move him off the throne. So I'm going to remove it before that person actually reaches that so that you don't have to experience it. So you need to learn how to actually claim and own your boundaries and let go of things that don't serve you because it's literally working to take you away from your throne, to take your power away from you. 
that's the miracle. Expect the miracle. I'm done. I'm, I'm literally done. I win. <laughs> I win! So do you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button because I legit, I post videos every week but then and more. So yeah, if you love this video, give, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm sending you guys so much. Oh shoot, I didn't put the herbs and the love spells. I'll link them down below in the comments. So make sure that you check the comments so that you can get my recommendations for candles, spells that I recommend, and also herbs that you can use in order to work your magic. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!